okay now we'll start with sewing okay now see what is sewing sewing means to put the seeds in the field okay obviously this is very very important process until unless you put the so uh, seed inside the soil what is going to grow okay so what is sewing to sow the seeds in the field is sowing okay so what is sowing to sow the seeds means sowing of seed okay to put the seeds into the field is known as sowing now see before the seeds are sown into the field few points has to be kept into the mind which are very very important first of all is quality of the seed okay quality of the seed we will be discussing uh, in the last part of the chapter how the seed better quality of seeds can be taken here quality of seeds how like the quality of seeds totally uh, decides the quality of crops okay so quality of seeds means what how it should be see the seeds should be totally healthy it should be free of all kind of infections it can uh, okay how to know about this so you know suppose if you take certain grams or like i should say chana okay at your home take few chana at your bowl of chana at your home and put water to that okay you will find if the all the chana all the gram seeds are of good quality they will sink they will be at the bottom okay but if it is not of good quality or if it is not uh, in good condition okay then what will happen few you will see that few seeds are floating on the surface of the water now why these seeds which are not good they float on the surface of the water because see when the seed is not good so automatically it becomes weakened it becomes empty from inside because see if it is not good means what it is infected presence of uh, some uh, uh, worms or something like that inside this so what happens the amount of seed you know the amount of part the more the the thing inside the seed becomes less so it becomes lighter and it starts floating on the surface of the water so this is also very good method to know the uh, condition of seed whether the seed is healthy or it is not healthy okay so first thing which has to be kept in the mind is what quality of the seed the seed has to be very very good then only the it is the the whole efforts will be of use or is everything will be of just a waste of time money and energy okay the first thing is quality of seeds the seed has to be free of infection free of germs okay it has to be of good quality now when i say it is it has to be of good quality means what it has to has a uh, certain like a you know, part of nutrient i'll just take one example now suppose there is a uh, plant a okay it is of tomato and it gives very good tomato okay so when i say good tomato means what are the things which i talk about i may talk about the color which should be red okay i may talk about the flesh means it should be fleshy i may talk about the size that it should be big enough okay <coughs> and i may also talk about the taste okay so i may also talk about the taste so see when i'm talking i've just given an example of a tomato plant having a tomato i just want to explain you the quality what does it means when i talk when i say that it has to be of good quality so first of all here also i should write it should be having good resistance part okay it should have good resistance power or i, I can write strong resistance part okay if everything is there tomato is red colored 
it is very fleshy it is it is quite big it the taste is also very good but the thing is that as soon as you cut the tomato the it is rotten it is not good so what is the use of all this thing okay so if it is second example if you take like uh, it is having a good resistance part but the color is not red so it doesn't attract the uh, the person who is going to purchase okay if it is not fleshy it doesn't make any sense in taking the tomatoes which is not fleshy from inside if you cut and there is no flesh inside it even such kind of tomatoes we have in the market like we, we can't understand from like by looking like it's not good from inside but as soon as you cut you will find it nothing is there inside it is just like empty sort of thing not totally empty but not as fleshy now size we will never prefer to take very small small tiny tiny tomatoes ok now taste it should obviously should taste nice whatever taste nice means what whatever taste of tomato is there it should come so see when I am talking about a particular thing I am to uh, particular say tomato I am talking that the it should having a good resistance part that means when I cut a tomato it should not be rotten from inside it should be red also it should be fleshy also the size should also be big and the taste should also be good so this is the quality of the fruit so how it is going to come obviously whatever quality all these are coming from this all comes or, or is possible only with the good quality of seed ok it is possible with the good quality of seed so in this case when I will say that this is a good quality of uh, seed when I am getting these many things from the fruit then I will say this yeah it is fulfilling all the uh, things which I require and so I will say yeah the plant is good the fruit is good and it's worth buying this it's worth eating this it uh, has all the good thing in it ok. So first of all the quality of seeds should be very very good. I hope you all have understood what is the meaning of quality of uh, seed should have strong resistance power like color is red means it should be having a proper color whatever I am talking about if I take the example of gram uh, chana it should be brown it cannot be black ok. So fleshy fleshy means it should not be empty from inside whatever uh, like when I talk about uh, rajma say for example it should not be empty from inside whatever has to be there has to be there size uh, I won't prefer any time or no one will prefer any time to take very small size of say rajma very very small size of rice ok so quality uh, like the size should be very good taste uh, we talk about the uh, this thing wheat ok so many uh, names are there which is very famous ok like sihori gyo uh, gyo and all this thing sharbati so people come from long distance from the other state to buy such kind of thing to buy such healthy or just the uh, seeds with the like the uh, grain which is having a uh, sorry the crops which have, which we have with a good quality ok. So this is all about the quality of seeds it should be very very good healthy ok. So what free of infection free from infection ok and now now before sowing again what has to be done it has to be treated the seeds has to be treated with fungicides ok why so that there should be no uh, seed borne disease ok to prevent seed bond like why it has to be treated matlab 
there should be no seed borne disease that means a disease which is all with the uh, seed is already having if seed is already disease that means what will happen the crop what is what we are going to get will always uh, will be diseased okay so the seed should be free from infection it should be treated from some fungicide so that uh, the we can prevent it from the seed borne disease okay now seed should have good amount of water good amount of water see if the seed is totally dry okay so what will happen when we will grow the seed it doesn't has enough amount of water and so the growth process will stop okay the germination of seed won't take place so even the seed should be having proper amount of nutrition in it to provide it to the seedling okay now <coughs> Okay, so now we will be discussing about the next thing like what are the things which we have to keep in mind ok. Now the next is when sowing the seed the distance has to be kept uniform ok, proper uniform distance should be there between the crops ok means proper uniform distance should be there see now why there should be proper distance if in a field like all the seeds are at very little distance so what will happen overcrowding will take place that means at a particular place more number of seed will germinate and what will happen a kind of a competition will be there in between the seeds to get proper nutrition from the soil for water ok for the space even so the proper growth of uh, seed or the proper growth of the crops will not take place ok. So, this is very very important that the proper and the proper and uniform means equal it should not be there that one is at one place and the second is at very far ok. So, proper and uniform distance should be there between the uh, I should not write crops over here rather I should write the seeds ok. So, the proper distance between the seeds should be there so that when the crops grow up ok. So, there should be no overcrowding what will happen to prevent to prevent overcrowding. Okay. So, proper and uniform distance should be there between the seeds to prevent overcrowding. Now, what is the next one? The depth okay, of the seeds should be proper or I can say the seed should be sown at the good proper depth ok. Means what say when we are putting the seeds when the seeds have been uh, sown into the field two things can happen uh, like first of all the seed are very deep ok. If the seeds are very deep the fertility of the soil down uh, will be less and so what will happen the seed would not be able to come up ok that means it would not be convert it would not get converted into a plant. Second thing if it is very superficial, superficial means it is on the top layer only it is just 
kept like that only and it is not covered by the soil then what will happen the birds will come up and eat the seeds ok. So, seeds will be eaten away by the birds. So, depth of the seed should be proper. Now, overcrowding ok. When we talk about overcrowding what will happen? It will give rise to unhealthy it will give rise to unhealthy competition ok. It will give rise to an unhealthy competition for what water space and nutrition ok and nutrition. What is the meaning of overcrowding? Too many plants at one place. What does it going to give it? Unhealthy competition for water, space and nutrition ok. Now, if the depth is not proper then what can happen? Birds will eat away ok. Birds will eat away the seeds ok and if it is very superficial in which case if it is if it is superficial and if the depth is more ok then what will happen? won't grow, won't grow if sown at greater depth. Okay. So, birds will eat away the seeds if it is superficial and won't grow if sown at greater depth ok. So, these are the points which has to be kept in mind before the sowing ok. Now, first of all just we will have a quick revision of this quick recap sowing what we are studying now sowing to sow the seeds in the field is sowing to put the seeds into the soil is sowing it is very very important process until unless the seeds are there in the field how the crop is going to come ok. Now, for this we need to keep certain points in our mind like it should be free from infection should not have any kind of disease ok. Seeds has to be treated by the fungicide to prevent seed borne disease good amount of water should be there in the seed ok should be there in seed. The seed is totally dried then what will happen? It would not germinate it would not get convert it would not get converted into a sapling. Now, next is proper and uniform distance which we have discussed a lot and depth of the seed should be good ok. If it is uh, like distance is not proper what will happen overcrowding? What is the meaning of overcrowding? Too many seeds at one place too many plants grows at one place what will happen it will give rise to a competition for what com which kind of competition to get water to get nutrients and for the space even ok and the growth would not be good. Now, if uh, the, when the seeds are sown it has to be sown at a proper depth not too much inside not too much superficial ok. So, this was this was sorry uh, was about how the sowing has to be done and what is sowing. Now, how the sowing can be done again we will talk about the ways the methods ok. To start with ok to start with see uh, again I will talk about some Hindi movies in which you have seen uh, like say suppose uh, a few songs are there ok in which you will you might have seen the farmers I am talking about the old movies ok. You might have seen that farmers are just spreading the thread uh, seeds ok. 